Welcome back to Art Books Reviewed. What's that? Oh, you'd like more Tolkien books? Well, that's funny you should say that, actually, because I have one right here. Look at this. Let's take a look at this. This is called The Tolkien Years of the Brothers Hildebrandt. And I actually only recently discovered these brothers, Tim and Greg. And actually, they're amazing. Some of this artwork in here I love. Now, this is a paperback book. It's not high, highly luxurious, but it, it, at the same time, it is quite nice quality. It's got a nice glossy cover um, because it bends. You sort of feel it, it won't get damaged. It seems to spring back nicely to, to where it was before. Um, so anyway, yeah, on with the show. This was published, I think, in 2012. There's 152 pages, 134 full colour images, uh, and 100 black and white images. And what I like about this, um, as we'll see in a second, is not only has it got amazing artwork in it, but there's some really interesting stories behind the artwork. And also you can sort of kind of see the process that's been used to create them as well. So it's all laid out really clearly and it's really interesting to look, to leaf through. So let's have a little look inside. See what we've got. So I'm not going to go through all the pages, but we'll just concentrate on a few. So these guys, Greg and Tim, were active in the 1970s. Um, I think Tim died recently. Um, I'm not sure whether Greg is still going, but they've, suffice it to say, their work is incredible and they've obviously been going a long time. Um, a bit of background to some of the other stuff that they've been involved in. And then here's a preface as well. Uh, and they've done a lot of work on, on the, the Tolkien calendars. I think there's been quite a few of those in the past. Anyway, let's move on. The artwork in here is great. It's used a lot of, um, uh, used a lot of live models um, to, to kind of like compose and to make these look so realistic. So this is a great scene here. Um, I think it's from The Prancing Pony when the hobbits meet Aragorn. Yeah, for the first time. And you can kind of see this is a lovely piece of artwork, but you can see kind of these little character studies here. He's got um, various people posing to fulfill the roles in the final piece. Uh, loads of information as you go through about how each of these um, pieces have been created and, and, and the working methods. There's um, various other stuff. It's just a real joy. It's a feast for the eyes. The pages are thin. Um, it's almost a bit like an old style magazine. But um, the print quality in there, the sheen, the glossiness is lovely. Look at that. So this is the Fellowship striding out. Um, Gandalf's always the same. Doesn't matter which film or book you see him in. There's only seems to be so many ways you can depict that wizard. Uh, this is great. Gandalf galloping off on uh, Shadowfax. Oh, there's an end. And yeah, as you can see, and as I've already said, it is a feast for the eyes. Every page has got some amazing kind of artwork on it. Here's Gollum leading uh, the hobbits there towards Mordor. Love the expressions on here. There's lots of character studies here for Gollum itself. Anyway, moving on, here's a great scene here with a Nazgul on a dragon. I wish I could draw like this. I mean, wow. Anyway, you get the gist. I'm going to fast forward a little bit through here. Uh, here's where the hobbits first meet Faramir and they're not sure whether they can trust him or not. I love the depiction of these, these hobbits as well. They look massive hands, chubby face. You can't see the hobbit feet on here. Um, but again, you can see the, the Faramir in this image and how he's been um, basically constructed using a, a still of a model up here. Brilliant. Presumably this is in Bilbo's house, the unexpected party. Yeah, that party went on way too long. Still, I suppose it was a good party in that respect. So, yeah, again, you can see some character studies here. Uh, how it was, how this scene was put together. Now the lighting is brilliant in here, the way it's just spilling down from above. Um, so, yeah, and then... It is a great book. It's quite easy to find. You can get it second hand. I'm not sure you can buy it new. Wow, I hadn't seen this one earlier. Shelob. Oh, wow. 
I don't mind spiders, but some people would probably find that a little bit upsetting. Great bit of artwork again. Yeah, so you can pick it up. It's, if you like Lord of the Rings, as I do, and you're interested in fantasy art, you really can't go wrong with this. It's just so much good stuff to see. And just like the way it's littered with comment throughout. So yeah, fantastic book. We've had a little look through then. Um, it's published by Dynamite Entertainment, by the way. Um, it's sort of almost square in shape. Um, and yeah, it's a great book to have in your collection. So let's give this some scores. Content. I'm going to give the content for, there's a lot of stuff in there to work through if you're a fan, lots of interesting information and visual stimulus, I would say. Um, so yeah, print quality, um, I guess I'm going to give it a four because actually some of the photos, they scanned in, it's not as great as some, but, a big but. Artwork itself has been reproduced beautifully on these pages, and I can't really, can't really fault that. So some of the pieces are just sumptuous. I think the word is, uh, and almost photorealistic at times. So I'm going to give it a five. The value, um, I'm going to give this a five too because you can pick this up cheap. This is not an expensive book. Um, it's in fact quite cheap. Um, so yeah, it's going to get a five. So that actually means that this art book, the final score, is going to be five overall. Get it. Enjoy it. Cherish it. Like I do.